It's shaky camera work time. I really need to get myself one of them there GoPros, don't I? So here we are, headed down to Tampa, Florida, which sounds impressive, except I only live like 40 minutes away. I live in sort of almost like a suburb. Uh, but I love Tampa. It's a great, great city. We're going to replay music in Tampa. Somebody asked me recently, am I sad that Tom Brady left? Like, are you sad he was only there two years? Oh, he was there in New England for his whole career. He was only in Tampa for two years. Are you sad about that? I said, I don't know. Let me go look at my Super Bowl t-shirt and then get back to you. You ever wonder who decides like the pitch of your turning signal? When you put on your turn signal, it alternates between two sounds and those sounds have pitches. It's like bump, 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 or whatever. You ever wonder like who chooses those notes? Like do they pick an interval? And like for Ford, like do they, they use the same like circuitry for the turn signal in like all the Mustangs? Do they change it from year to year? Is there a committee at Ford that says, well now, you know, last year we used uh, G sharp and uh, B flat, and uh, we're gonna have to pick two different notes this year because you gotta change it up. That's what the public wants. You gotta change it up. You see palm trees, you know you're either in California or Florida. California's got kick-ass weather. And according to the Beach Boys, it's a great place. Actually, I have relatives who live in California. I guess they like it. I have a relative who works for Disney. How cool is that? Okay, here's my exit, Hillsborough Avenue. The cool thing about Hillsborough Avenue is the planes fly directly over it when they're about to land at Tampa International Airport. So you got these flights coming in from all over the country, in some cases all over the world. And if they're low enough, you can see the wheels down and you could, you could, uh, you could practically see the people in the plane. I, I'm exaggerating, of course, but it's pretty cool. Sometimes it times out where the plane's flying right over my head while I'm on Hillsboro, and that's cool. But usually when I want it to happen, it doesn't happen. I really need a GoPro. Should I buy one? For what, the two videos a year that I uh, make one of these travel videos? The truth of the matter is, there's not that many music stores that I can actually drive to, and quite frankly, that number's getting smaller, not larger. When I go to replay, I'm gonna ask them if it's okay that I can take pictures in the store. So normally this is right the area where the planes would be flying in because over there is the runway they land on. But unfortunately, there's nothing coming right now. There's where they land. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off now and drive my car more safely. How's that? Talk to you in a bit. Oh, I wanna get lunch at that Chinese place again. Yeah, hang on. Right? Last time I did this, I said, wow, this looks great. What a lot of food. So let's have a look. I ordered the exact same thing that I did a year ago. And as you can see, this thing feels like it weighs about three pounds. Do, do I really need to eat three pounds of food for lunch? No, I do not. So I'll probably eat a third of this. This is Szechuan beef. Uh, it's very, very good. And I'm going to shut the camera off and I'm going to eat it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got a fortune cookie. Hang on. So here's my fortune. You must look into people as well as at them. You should look into people, not just at people. Huh, I'll have to look into that. We're heading south on Dale Mabry. This is the road that Raymond James Stadium is on where the Bucks play. 
there's a pedestrian bridge, and then of course there's the big boy. Ray J. That's where we're going. Replay guitar exchange. Let's see if I can manage to not get killed crossing the street here. So let's get into the presentation, shall we? These are some pictures from inside of Replay Guitar Exchange in Tampa, Florida. If you're not in the Tampa area, you can always go to their website, which is replayguitar.com. They ship all over the place, and you can go check out their, their selection of used instruments. So the very first thing I did is I asked permission to take photos inside of the store, which I received, which was very cool of them. Uh, they don't mind at all. And you can kind of see why. The place is gorgeous. So let's start with the bathroom, shall we? Uh, this is the nicest bathroom in any music store in the Tampa area. I mean, just look at it. They've got guitar displays on all the walls, and I just snapped some pictures. We're going to start here in Squireland. Here's a nice selection of Squire guitars. So definitely a lot of Squires to choose from. I like Squires, as you know, or you may know. And then correspondingly, I have a, a picture here of Fenderland. Yeah, I pretty much like all the Fender guitars. Here's another shot of Fenderland, and you can see some, some Gibsons encroaching on Fenderland. And, and uh, you can also see a, a guitar there that looks kind of similar to the one I just built, only it's got a matching headstock. Matching headstocks are cool. So then here's a, uh, a picture of just some various stuff mixed together, LTD Kramer, Jackson, some other stuff, the pointy guitar, so to speak. And then here's a picture of Gibson Land, although we also have some Gretsch here. Here's a, a little bit further down the wall in Gibson Land. The white price tags are new, I believe, and the yellow ones are used, so... We've always got a really good selection of Gibsons here. Okay, so here's just a, uh, a section of the wall I took a picture of. This has got some lefties and then uh, some PRS guitars, some PRS uh, CE24 guitars, which I think are wonderful instruments. Sorry for the blurry picture. This is a picture of some acoustic guitars outside of the acoustic room. And here's some more acoustics outside of the acoustic room. These are like the lesser expensive ones, so like Epiphone. And then I didn't go in and take a million pictures in acoustic land because I'm not an acoustic player, but they've got a dedicated room for acoustic guitars, and you can go in there and try stuff out. There is also similarly a room for bass instruments, and they got some basses and amps and stuff. Again, I didn't go in there because I'm not really a bass player. So let's talk about budget guitars. They've got several racks on the floor, and to the right is uh, an example of this where they've got budget instruments. So I got my Adrian Smith Jackson at one of their sales and I got it for, it was new, I got it half price during one of their summer sales. So if you go into replay enough, I guarantee you, you're going to find some guitars that you want. So, okay, so for pedals, Again, I'm not a pedals guy. I have an HX Stomp. That replaced my entire pedal board, but here's some pedals, and here's some more pedals. We got Strymon, we got JHS. Here's some more pedals with some funky artwork. Here is what I actually came for. In the center of this picture, the, uh, the mat for doing guitar care. At this point in time, you've already seen this map because it was in last week's video. So it's like I went here and took all the pictures, bought the mat, then I shot the PRS SE Custom 24 maintenance video, and now I'm actually uh, doing the presentation, so to speak, for this today. So Replay has a small performance stage, and there's there's room up here for a drum set and probably two or three other other players. I've seen a few different people speak here and do clinics. They, they like to host clinics. I saw Joe Jackson's band here. It was his drummer, his bass player, and his guitar player. And they talked about stories on the road, and they played some music, and it was really cool. So then, outside of the amp room, here's just a collection of inexpensive amps. 
The one thing that I didn't take any pictures of is the amplifier room. And the amplifier room is a separate room. It's got a big heavy door and it's got a good collection of uh, medium to expensive amps. Sometimes you can find deals in there. I found a Marshall uh, 15 watt amp head in there for I think $250 it might have been or $300 uh used and i bought that a couple of years ago so they've also got two or three of these repair rooms this picture is a little blurry because i snapped it really quick but they've got places to work on guitars they have people there who who work on guitars and then in the back of the store there are some uh some rooms for lessons and i'm i'm just gonna walk you back there okay so here's the hallway it's kind of walking back We've got uh, restrooms to the left, which we already looked at. Rounding the corner, there's a couple of practice rooms. And uh, they've got this nice lounge area here with a couch and some chairs. And they got a flat screen TV. So as you're waiting for your lesson, you can hang out. And it's really nice back here. So here's a shot of maybe a half of the store to a third of the store. I couldn't get a shot of the whole store. It's too big. But uh, this gives you some kind of an idea of what you will see when you walk in the door. And in my opinion, Replay Guitar Exchange is Tampa's best guitar store. There's a Sam Ash I go to, there's a Guitar Center I go to, but Replay is really the best. The one thing I would say about Replay is it is strictly a guitar store. So there's no PA and there's no keyboards. And those are two things that I'm interested in. So. Sometimes that's why I'll go to, you know, Sam Asher Guitar Center. But for guitar shopping, it's definitely the best place. And once a year they do their annual sale. And the annual sale, you have to be in the store. But, like, that's where I got my Adrian Smith Jackson for half price. You can get 50% off uh, some stuff when they do their annual sale. It's ridiculous. You can't go in without finding something. So good. Anyway, thank you Replay for allowing me to take pictures while I was in your store. I'll definitely be back. I love your store and that's the end of this presentation. Replay is doing a lot better in terms of inventory than the big box stores, which is good because uh, I definitely prefer Replay. So I'm going to drive home now. As always, if you like this, bell, subscribe, all that crap. and. Uh, I will see you again next Friday at 5.